Well, a trainee referee tonight announcing it as four threes and the corner man picking it up quite rightly as six twos, which is what we've got. And Joe Boy, Joey Taylor, in only a second professional fight in the red shorts against one of the most familiar figures nowadays in the British ring, Sid Razak, who fought a little matter of 23 times last year, won one of them. He's earning a good living, isn't he, John? Most definitely. And eight times already this year. Unbelievable. He got a Peter Buckley in his corner who's, who had over 100, 300 fights, didn't he, I think? So, something like that. And Sid's saying that he'd like 150 under his belt. So let's see how he gets on against Joey Taylor, who had his debut back in July. And he beat the Hayes-based Scott Michael Stupart in, well, what was it? 1 minute 42 seconds. And he looked good in the process. It's a nice body shot. He's looking good, he? he's, he's only a short fighter, and he boxes small as well, which is a good, a good thing to see. He stays low, moves his head very well. Fight made at super featherweight. Taylor stands just five feet four. He's a Tyler and stonemason by living, by trade. And he started well here. coming back from Razak so far sometimes if he fancies the fight he'll wing in a few decent looking shots well to be fair Taylor's punished him hasn't he every time Razak's tried to make a make a play Taylor's punished him with that right hand over the top he's back to softball now and just stalking him again waiting for Razak to make a mistake Fight made of six twos. What's your thoughts on two minute rounds? Yeah, I'm not a lover of them. I've done it uh, myself. But, um, yeah, I'm not a lover of it either. I'm not a lover of four threes either, to be honest. Well, Taylor starting confidently and doing enough quite clearly to win the opening round. Gary Logan in the corner with him. Good fighter in his own right in the day. Yeah, yeah, good yeah. Gary. Gary was good one. He can compete with the best at yeah, British level, Gary. And he's making the cabin himself a good career as a trainer also. And Mick Williamson, the cutsman. 
keep it sharp. And as soon as you've done your work, slide out. That's what I meant. Yeah? As soon as he starts coming towards you, smother him or come out low. Yeah. Don't give him an opening. Don't give him them single shots. Yeah. Don't give him nothing. Don't give him anything to encourage him. Right? Nothing to encourage him. Yeah? Corners, 10 seconds. Second out, round two. And Taylor says he loves the Hispanic style of fighting and he said that if he could model himself on one man, the guy he's really looked at is Roberto Duran. <laughs> well, it's a big ask, isn't it? The box anywhere near Duran's level, but he sits in the pocket well, doesn't he, Taylor? I like it. I like it. You know, he, he's not afraid to stay in there. You know, he's got good head movement, works the body well, so, you know, you can see it's, uh, the Hispanic, Hispanic influence in his work. He sold a good few tickets. Plenty of people who paid the money to be along here to cheer him on here comes from Hoxton. Again, good head movement there from Taylor. Looking sharp, isn't he? He is. And Razak at this stage just content to tuck up. Had his first fight back in 2001, Sid Razak. He actually won his first three. Gone terribly well since then. 107 defeats in 116. No, but he realised early on, didn't he, that he wasn't going to be a world beater. Good right hand here from Taylor, just again measuring Razak up. Every time he, Razak tries to make the play, Taylor punishes him for it. Yeah, and as, as you rightly say, he's made himself a, a decent living by keeping himself in shape and being ready to take fights often at short notice yeah and he having peter buckley in your corner he's the, he was the master wasn't he of not getting hit and making a living and boxing every week shy lad peter i remember when he came along to the uh, boxing writers dinner a year or two back they gave him a, a special award for services to boxing and i'll tell you what it was so well deserved he uh, he could he could hardly find words to speak but he got a standing ovation and rightly so as well. I boxed him a few times myself, but another easy round there, I think, for Taylor. That's it, so. As soon as you've done your work, just go. But be on balance. Just pop him back with a jab when you go around the side. Yeah? Just pop him back with a jab so you're back on balance. As soon as you've done it. Well, here's some of the action from that second round. Yeah, and that's just where he's staying low again, moving his head, wasn't he? Evading a shot and then come back up with a nice little screw shot and a right hand over the top. As a fighter, just articulate what's so difficult about punching down against a smaller guy like this, who actually fights small as well. Well, you lose power punching down, because you, you can't, you know, you lose power pushing the, pushing the punch down. You always want to look to punch up, because you're still pushing from your legs and elevating the power into the shot. So when you're punching down, it's hard to be accurate and it's also very hard Seven to get any power or sustain power in your shots. Three. So stay in the, and also you're a short attack, smaller target to hit because you, you crouch down lower. Well, if you're just joining us, this is our opening fight of the night here tonight from Wembley. Joey Taylor in the red shorts against Birmingham Sid Razak. Taylor, 24 years old, 16 years Razak's junior, and this one's made over six two-minute rounds, and Taylor's certainly doing enough to win the first two. Again with the right hand counter there from Taylor. I do like his head movement, he's fluent with it. Right hook to the body was a nice shot. Just trying to entice Razago to this shell, isn't he? Just trying to pepper him with jabs. Razak a bit too long in the tooth, I think, to get caught out by that one. 
Yeah, he'll keep his hand tight, just stalk, as he's doing now, trying to stalk Taylor down. He'd only let it go when he thinks he can hit the target. That's what Taylor wants to do, doesn't he? As soon as Razak throws a shot, he wants to come back with that right hand. Again, working well off the jab. Doubling up with the front hand. Another round safely pocketed. Joey Taylor look, winning this one pretty much as he wishes at the moment. Just there. Yeah, that's what you'd expect, out. really, isn't it? Yeah, see, it's look good. All right, as soon as you've done the work, slide out to the side, <coughs> bang into the body, and then go again. Mm -hmm. Yeah? We're working on things for the future. Okay. Yeah? So you've got to do your work, and don't just be happy sliding out. Slide out, bang into the body again, and then go again. Okay? <coughs> don't prod your shots anymore. Splendid old arena, Wembley Arena, once the Empire Pool. Venue for many a massive boxing occasion over the years. Real sense of history when you come around here. Yeah, most definitely, even though they've, even though they've knocked the old stadium down, it's still uh, there. Has, has an iconic feel about it, doesn't it, the, the whole does. area. No conference centres long gone. Notice there's a, a load of new buildings out there now. <laughs> Looks to me that Taylor's just resigned himself, that he's not going to maybe get the stoppage from Razik, so he's just looking to, to pepper him with lighter shots, so and conserve some energy. That's a nice job from Razak. Razak getting plenty of encouragement from Peter Buckley in his corner. He's just starting to fancy it a bit more with the occasional jab and little right uppercut like that one. Well, he's doing that journeyman trick, isn't he? Trying to walk you down, make you work a lot, trying to tire out the young prospect. But Taylor, to me, looks sharp. Razak has had his moments, he had a, a victory last year and he's had one as well this year. And just on occasion, if he kind of fancies it, he'll land the odd quality shot like that one, which is a little reminder to them learning. Yeah, but I think Taylor's coped with it well, hasn't he? Because he's, he's constant head movement, coming back with nice little uppercuts and hooks that we just seen just a minute ago. good shot fine right hand and Razak will do well to get up from that he's done so well and he looks reasonably clear-eyed now is the referee going to allow this to continue he's going to have a close look at him on he goes but that was a quality right hand from Taylor and the bell two minute rounds comes just in time literally I think for me Razak got up too soon I think and uh, most definitely saved by the bell Cracking right hand there from from Joey Taylor. Just when I was saying he would, he looked resigned himself to go into the points. Right on the chin. Commentator's curse that one, Barry. <laughs> Beautifully delivered shot, wasn't it? And again, when Razek was trying to throw a shot, paid the price. But that was all technique that was from Joey Taylor. Lovely, beautiful work. Well, quality work from the man in only his second pro fight finding a real quality right hand okay that's really nice you set him up because you weren't looking to nail him but you did right. do you think can he build on what he achieved in round four which will go down as a 10-8 on the scorekeeper's card Bob Williams, the man sitting at ringside, scoring this one. Well, I think the, the, the advice from the corner from Gary Logan was good. You know, he said, you know, look what happened when you, want, when you weren't looking for the big shot. Just stay relaxed. You know, that's, that was good advice. And it's obviously 
pay dividends for Joey Taylor because he did get the knockdown. And uh, again, you don't want him to rush his work, just stay relaxed again, and he might come. Well, this is the first fight of a terrific night of boxing we've got for you here tonight. Not only the outstanding contests, hopefully, that we're bringing you from Wembley, but that Alvarez Trout fight, if you're going to stay up overnight for that, that has the makings for me of yet another classic. We've had some terrific international fights already this year, and Alvarez against Trout could well be another. And again, it's another pick and fight, isn't it? It's really hard. I think the, all the public, the, the public, and the boxing community are divided. They think it's going to win this one again, similar to the Rigondo uh, Donaire fight. I got that one right. I got that one wrong. But then I've been getting a lot wrong lately. But I haven't got this one wrong so far. And Taylor's ahead by a street. Not been able to find the big shot that he needs. Patient, trying to work his way in. And I think that's good, isn't it? The patience. You know, not to rush your work, not to take any silly chances. You know, showing a little bit of maturity in his work. Well, fair play to Razak, he's certainly recovered well. And landing with a few good right hands, Razak. Well, Taylor winning this one by a street, Barry. The only question, I guess, is whether or not he's going to find the punch to Seven stop Sid Razak. Well, you would sort of guess that he would probably come out a little bit more assertive in this round now, trying to close the show in a little bit of style. But, you know, he doesn't need to, does he? Just relaxed, as, as Gary Logan was saying in the corner. Really long to stay relaxed and uh, the punches will come. But Taylor's shown a good variety in his work, hasn't he? His head movement's been very good, and so has his work ethic. He's thrown a lot of shots, he's done a lot of work. Razak come out in this sixth round with a bit more attacking intent. Might provide an opening for Taylor. Yeah, I think Taylor would like that, wouldn't he? If Razak now just went went for broke. How good do you think Taylor can be, Barry? But well, to be honest, John, it's still early days, isn't it? He's not up against much. This is the first time that I've seen him box. I'm quite impressed with his with his lateral movement and his. I think you know his fitness is quite good. He's thrown a lot of shots, but he's short, isn't he? Short for the weight. That that would be my only concern. Caught there. I think he takes a shot. He doesn't seem to be bothered by anything that's come from Razak. But I'm impressed. He's good. Good variety in his work as well. Could he get down lower? I mean, could he could he be fighting at a lighter weight? Well, you would like you you would think it'd be better for it. But then look at Gavin Reese; he's probably the same height as him, and look how good he's been moving up in weight. Well, uh, true enough. Fighting a super featherweight tonight, and they know he knows he's in no doubt. Joey Taylor has won that fight, unquestionably had Razak down in the fourth round. And for me, that's got to be a complete shutout. Let's take another look at some of the uh, some of the action from that sixth round. 
Yeah, Razak having a little bit of success there, but really Taylor, which just took his foot off the gas, didn't he? But Taylor, in, all in all, Taylor's upper body movement was very, very good tonight. I think, you know, the, the right hand, most definitely, that put Razak down was a beautifully delivered shot. Really textbook stuff, and he showed how, how skillful he is and what he can potentially be. Well, here's the knockdown. They don't see that too often, Sid Razak being put down. And it was a heavy shot as well, wasn't it? Well timed, right hand really turned from the core. We're going to see it again now, hopefully. There we go. Just when Razak was, was feeling a little bit ambitious, Taylor made him pay. So here comes the results, and here's Mike Goodall. Ladies and gentlemen, the referee scorecard at the end of six rounds of action reads uh, 60 points to 54 in favour of the winner. Joe Taylor! Well, he's given it 60 54 somehow there, I think. I thought there had to be a 10 8 round in there. I would have thought made that 60 53, but never mind that. We're talking about uh, small differences, no questioning who won it, and winning it very emphatically, Joey Taylor. So it's our first big fight of the night coming up the WBO European lightweight title fight, and a lot of talk about this one. Liam Walsh against the comeback man, never lost his world title in the ring, that's Scott Harrison.